This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Hey everyone, what's going on? Welcome to the studio tour. Now, a little bit of backstory just before we begin this. I've had so many different studio spaces over the years. Uh, this one really is like kind of a chance to make it entirely mine, which is really exciting. Um, and I wanna show you guys kind of what we use this space for, a little bit of you know, the kind of equipment that we use and how we kind of laid everything out. Uh, first, I just wanna say how thankful I am to even be in a position to have a studio like this. It's been a dream of mine to have a space like this to come to and to work and to collaborate and to make cool stuff. And I really feel like we're doing that here, which is really exciting. Uh, but kicking things off here, we have kind of the photo studio space. So over here we have just a bunch of different seamless stands and a ladder for changing stuff up on the ceiling. Uh, some Apple boxes, we have some V-flats, sandbags. Um, and mainly that's used for when we're obviously shooting studio portraits or studio photography, any sort of products and stuff like that. Um, here I have a Profoto B1X mounted on the ceiling with a five foot Octabox, which works incredibly well. Uh, I really do think this setup is pretty much perfect for what we're using it for. Um, it barely fits up there. It's kind of mounted on the wood, which was a big reason why I got this space to begin with. I love these skylights and the wood ceilings. This really allows us to be able to mount everything that we need on the ceiling, which is really helpful. Um, but over here is typically where we shoot the actual studio photography. So I had this really beautiful wood backdrop that my friend Dylan made me. Uh, works really well and I love kind of how it blocks out light, especially when we're shooting videos in the studio. This just kind of allows us to make sure that we're controlling the light as much as we possibly can. Uh, back here we just have like some stands for holding up seamless backdrops, but typically this is how we shoot. We'll have like the B1X right here with the Octabox blasting this way, hooked up to the EOS R5. Honestly, works really, really well. So I'm pretty happy with this area, kind of how we've laid it out. Um, there's just enough space to kind of get things done here to where, you know, we can kind of move the chairs over and the couch if we need to. And it gives us enough space here to shoot whatever we need to to get done. All right, moving on now to the lounge area. We have kind of just a couch here, some nice chairs, a coffee table. This is kind of where everyone just kind of hangs out when they come here. They kind of sit down here, relax, maybe open a photo book, uh, make some coffee. As you guys can see over here, coffee obviously has to be here at the studio. We have kind of a whole coffee stand here with multiple different roasts. Uh, this one's from April Coffee in Copenhagen, one of my favorites. Uh, really nice to have just kind of a complete coffee setup here. We mainly just make pour overs using the kind of V60 system, which is pretty handy. Um, yeah, I love this, I love this area. All right, so moving on to the desks now here in the studio. First we have Haven's desk, which is the desk of a good friend of mine. Uh, we met at a coffee shop here in LA and he comes here mostly to uh, work on photo projects and scan film, which is really nice. I'll talk about that just in a second here. Uh, but over here is Thomas's desk. Thomas shoots and edits all of my video projects, whether it be YouTube, Patreon, uh, any sort of video project that you guys have watched over the last probably five or six months now, Thomas has had his hands in. So if you guys are liking this stuff, make sure to thank him. Uh, but he is up here probably four to five days a week. We're working on various different projects and kind of project planning. We have a lot of really exciting stuff coming up in the next couple months. So I'm very excited to share with you guys what we're working on. But again, if you guys like the video stuff that we're making, you have Thomas to thank for that. So over here we have kind of like a charging gear area. Uh, first things first up here, we have the Aperture 300D Mark II, which is kind of our video light of choice. I do love this light. I love that it's mounted on the ceiling, has this really big uh, soft box on it now. And this is what we use to light all the videos. It's really nice that we can just take it down from the ceiling if we need to. Uh, but overall, this light is extremely powerful and it works really well. Um, below that here, we have a Noritsu scanner, which is actually Haven's. I don't own this, I didn't purchase this, uh, but Haven did. Uh, it's really an incredible condition. If you guys don't know what a Noritsu is, they're extremely expensive uh, scanners and Haven found a pretty good deal on one. So yeah, it's here in the studio. I'm really excited to slowly start learning how to uh, scan my film properly and I'll probably make some videos honestly about that using the scanner at some point um, But really excited to kind of dive in. I don't really know a lot about scanning with this scanner um, But again, I'm really excited to kind of dive in and learn 
Um, I need to get around to that at some point. Uh, below this, we have kind of just like a Husky tool chest with a bunch of gear, anything from filters to batteries to microphones, any sort of video equipment pretty much just goes in here. Um, we have audio stuff down here, extension cords, and over here we have a charging station. So this is where we charge everything, get everything organized. Down below here is normally where we keep the Roadcaster, which is a pretty incredible device. Uh, Road actually sent this out to us. I love this thing. It really captures audio so well, and you can have up to four different XLR inputs. Uh, it's just perfect for any kind of podcast or conversation. Uh, we use it sometimes when we record into the microphone behind me. Uh, this thing is just really incredible. So thank you, Road, for sending this out to us along with the mics as well. Really, really happy with uh, the quality of this thing. All right, and now moving on to probably the most recognizable part of the studio for all of you that are watching. Uh, this is my desk right here. So you guys probably noticed that this is a pretty familiar angle for most of you guys. Uh, right here, this is where we record pretty much all of the YouTube videos. Uh, so here we have a mic that we use um, when we want to do like kind of more tutorial based stuff, mostly for Patreon. We'll pull the mic right here and then it can be on the computer and explaining something, you know, demystifying a process or reviewing a piece of equipment. Uh, but this mic just kind of stays here, which is really nice. It all rests on this Foley desk, which I love. Foley is one of my favorite companies. They're based out of Portland, Oregon. So a Northwest company. That's like where I'm from, the Northwest. And I love this desk. This desk is incredible. It's really like well built and we use it for kind of a variety of different things. It's really nice to be able to mount stuff on here, whether it's cameras or microphones or lights. Uh, there's just a lot of space, a lot of surface area to work with. So we utilize this desk quite a bit, which is pretty nice. Uh, moving on over here, we have the LG Ultrafine 5K monitor, which is incredible. We have a couple of these in here. Thomas edits on one as well. And I just love these monitors. They're so crisp and clean and the color is beautiful. Um, I just love editing photos and videos and viewing videos and photos on these things. They're just really beautiful. And I love, love the way they work. Just connects via a single cable right here. So I find that to be very helpful and useful. Uh, got the Leica Q2 here. This is probably the only thing pretty much that I bring between where I live and where I work. Um, this thing kind of comes with me wherever I go now. And I love bringing it around, just snapping random photos along the way. And everything runs through this kind of 15 inch MacBook Pro from a couple of years ago. We have a couple hard drives here, the G drive and a Lacey. Got a card reader here and my Canon R5 right here as well. And the 28 to 70 F2 lens. So over here we have kind of the background of the videos that we shoot. We have like a nice picture here that I got printed in frames from Arizona. I'm really happy with how that turned out. Got some photo books here. I love kind of handing out photo books to people when they come hang out at the studio. It's really fun to just kind of look through photo books and talk about photography. I don't know. It's kind of the main reason why I got this space, if I'm being honest. Um, so let's kind of live here. We got a plant and a light, just kind of for some, some ambiance. All right, so moving on here, we have kind of the least organized part of the studio. Uh, we just have this pipe desk that my friend Nick built me. Nick, if you're watching, thank you so much. Uh, he hand built this for me. Just kind of went and got all these pipes from Home Depot. It holds so much stuff and it's incredibly sturdy. Like you can't really shake it too much which is really nice. Uh, we have a lot of stuff on here, including lights and tripods, different bags and uh, sound blankets and such like that. It's kind of nice to just have one area where everything can go. So the rest of the studio stays clean, especially when we're filming, we want to keep everything nice and organized. That's kind of the key throughout. You guys will see, we love mounting things on the ceiling. We love kind of just keeping things away from the areas that we're going to be filming. Um, it just makes things a lot easier and a lot more uh, fluid when you start filming on a regular basis. So. It's nice to just have kind of one dedicated area for all of that. Now over here we have a microwave, which is probably the least exciting part of the entire studio. Um, but below that we have kind of this humidity controlled cabinet. This is where all of my film cameras go. Uh, everything from the Contact 645 to the Mamiya 7.2. Uh, those are the main film cameras that I use for the most part. And what this does is it controls the humidity uh, levels inside of this. So film cameras are pretty sensitive to moisture. So it's really nice to be able to store them in an area where there's not a lot of moisture, it's very low humidity and very low heat as well. Um, it's just kind of the ideal area for your cameras to be kind of housed. Uh, I wasn't really sure if this was a gimmick or not when I first bought it, a friend of mine recommended it to me, but they actually work really well and it keeps the cameras in really nice condition so you can use them and they don't fall apart. So highly recommend that as well. So over here we have just kind of a dedicated film fridge. This is where I keep all my film. Uh, as you can see, I have a lot of stuff in there right now, mostly Portra 400 and that's really like kind of where I keep 
most of my film, actually all of my film. Um, it's just nice having like a lot of film to just store and then when I need it, I don't have to go try to go to the camera store, maybe it's closed. And the reason for that is honestly so that I can have some when I need it. You know, this is probably gonna last me at least the rest of the year. And that's kind of how I like to buy it. I usually do kind of like a bigger order of film at the beginning of the year. And then I don't have to buy anything else throughout the rest of the year, which is pretty nice. Um, but overall, I think that pretty much concludes it. Let's go ahead and head over to the couch. I'm just gonna say a few closing words before we wrap today's video up. Oh. All right, hopefully you guys enjoyed that little tour. Uh, I wanted to kind of talk a little bit about the backstory behind the studio, I think, just to give this a little bit more context. So for those of you who have joined recently or maybe not been around for as long as others, I've had several different photo studios and different office spaces throughout the years, but I never really had one that was like truly mine. And I've worked in garages, I've worked um, in studios with other people, which has been really fun over the years. Uh, but this is kind of the first chance where like I have a studio space and it's actually mine. Uh, and it feels really amazing, honestly. And I couldn't really be in this position without all the support of you guys, honestly, and this YouTube channel and supporting my photography. Um, it just means a lot, honestly, it really does. And I can't thank all of you guys enough for supporting the videos and showing love and really just, you know, being along for the ride on this crazy journey that we're on right now. Uh, but yeah, it's it's been such a crazy couple years, honestly, moving into this place about six months ago in the middle of a pandemic. I definitely questioned throughout those six months whether this was like the right decision. And I feel like seeing this space all put together now and having it as a place where we can film YouTube videos like we're doing right now, and really just, you know, kind of having an area to come to, to, you know, find peace and relax. Uh, it feels incredible, honestly, to have just a place to come to and a place to work and a place to relax and unwind at the same time. So I really feel very fortunate to be in this position, um, but believe me, it did not start out like this. I've worked my way up to this over the course of nine years now since I picked up a camera. So it's been pretty incredible to kind of be on this journey, honestly. And again, can't thank all of you guys enough, um, but kind of moving into this space was definitely very daunting, uh, kind of getting everything organized. It's a lot bigger space than I you know, kind of anticipated. So it just took some time to kind of figure out like what I actually wanted in here and kind of the way that I wanted to do it. Um, but I finally feel like it's, it's really like at that point now where it feels very put together. Uh, there's only a few things that I wanna add for the most part. I really feel very organized and very excited about uh, the future of this space. Again, I want this to be a place of community where people can come and hang out and look at photo books, drink coffee and relax, you know, and just kind of hang out with us. At the same time, I love that this place represents work and getting things done. And, you know, this is kind of the birthplace of a lot of the different projects that you guys have seen over the last couple months. Um, ever since hiring Thomas as a full-time employee, we've really been able to like focus and get, you know, really dialed in with what we're doing here. And it feels really exciting, honestly. I just really felt like I needed to kind of hop on at the end here and, and thank all of you guys for the support. I really could not have done all of this without you guys. And I hope you guys will continue uh, to follow along on the journey. So we have a lot of exciting new things coming this summer. So I can't wait to, uh, to share all that with you guys. But with all that being said, I really do appreciate you guys watching not only this video, but all of the previous ones. Again, whether you're hopping on just for the first time right now, or you followed me for the last several years, it really means a lot. So thank you so much, guys. Uh, we'll see you next week with another exciting episode. Take care. Before this video wraps up, I did want to take a moment to thank today's sponsor, which is Squarespace for sponsoring today's episode. If you are looking to create a custom website from scratch without all the coding and hassles that come with it, Squarespace is by far the best choice out there, in my opinion, to make a beautiful website. They have easy to use templates, which make creating a beautiful theme that much easier. 24 seven customer support for all of your questions and tons of customizable design and layout choices to really make your website stand out. For a photographer like myself, running a small business with multiple different kinds of needs, Squarespace really just makes sense. If you're interested in trying out Squarespace for yourself, go to squarespace.com slash Samuel Elkins, which is in the description to get 10% off your first website or domain purchase. As always, thank you so much for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed this one and we'll see you next week